Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play it This. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Yes, he's berating me for standing in the broom closet, but welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Let's play. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? <laughs> standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, no. I'm genuinely confused. I like the drone effect of the lights. But yeah, um, this is a really fun game. No shooting. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. <laughs> but it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. You don't need me. You've got the other narrator now. <laughs> this is brilliant. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> uh, let us use the broom. Come on. No. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. <laughs> that all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. <laughs> this is because I'm not leaving. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. <laughs> well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Oh, lovely. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, <laughs> so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. <laughs> All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. <laughs> I'm gonna wait a little more. I am not gonna step out. <clears throat> I got some tools here. What is that? I have no idea. Wrenches. Another wrench. Or thingy. Duct tape. I wonder why that is. I think that's just the way it's made, but it's kind of a radioactive symbol. Okay, let's go. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> well, that's nice. Second player. Right. Where are we going? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Let's follow his directions. Ooh. Spiffy. Executive bathroom. Hmm. That's the one with the golden uh, taps and everything. Oh. I got a golden bathroom. Oh, that looks cool. What's over here? Oh, there is something back there, but I can't go in there yet. I can I can steal some expensive stuff though. Oh, wait, what is this? What does it say? Eh, get uh, I can't jump. Damn it! I wanted to see what that was. Whoa. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Okay, but let's do it anyway. Two, eight, four, five. 
Yet incredibly, by simply <laughs> pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Ooh. This uh, prop seems familiar. Left for Dead, I think. Or maybe it's from uh, Half-Life 2 as well. Oh, this is this button is from uh, Portal 2, I think. Oh, where we go? I like it. Breaking the. Ooh. Loading, 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 loading. It's not actually a tongue twister. I just can't speak. Oh, there you go. This game so far is brilliant. If you don't mind not having ex constant explosions, this is a game for you. This is, so far, it's been very amusing. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. All right. Oh. <clears throat> Where are we in the deep bowels of the underground? What secret? Stanley walked straight ahead <clears throat> through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> Escape. No, nope, we're going straight to the Mind Control Facility. Oh. Can we mind control people from here? That would be cool. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Whoa. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh. What's going on here? Mysterious. Well, there are obviously workers here. What are these tiny televisions or something? Uh, monitors. Ooh. Now the Whoa. monitors jump to life, their true nature Fired. revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This is awesome. What is this? I can't press it. Oh, that one's fired. Where's us? Uh, what was our number again? Oh, I can't remember. Oh well. <clears throat> this is awesome. Employee. It's for something, right? Pirate. What's that pirate guy up there? Right, what's this? Ooh. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? <laughs> that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I don't know. We'll have to find out. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes, apparently. Ooh. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past oh. began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Or use them first. No? 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 Offline. I can't press it. Hmm. Ten. What 
does that mean? Can we go down there? What does that even mean? Offline. That's a lot of buttons. Oh. Console disabled. Let's go down here. Let's see what this does. Ooh. Creepy. Nothing apparently so far. Well, let's go and turn the power on, obviously, because we want to control people. Oh, five. What's that? I guess we have to press that in order. Mind control idle. Awaiting input. Oh, that's a big screen. System. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. On. Oh, Stanley. You didn't <laughs> just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that yes. what you wanted? Yes. Control? Yes. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. All right. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, <laughs> nuclear detonators are set to explode, <laughs> eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. Uh. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than There's what I had three. in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Yes. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. No! Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense oh. of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. No! But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? <laughs> These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Okay, so I need the button three. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Yes. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, <laughs> screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Ah! <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You no. wanted to control this world, that's fine. 
But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. All Take right. a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make no. it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, Nobody no. ever up. No! <laughs> no! No! I wanted to control the world. I wanted to have the power to control everyone. But he was too much. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. <sighs> Have I ascended? Am I now? Oh. We're back here. Well, we'll try something else next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.